Hello guys, it is I, Jerry the Heho. Now this week we're gonna be fighting Solo from the Portland Trail Blazikins. Uh, off the bat, I'm just gonna say right, uh, right now that I think Solo has the best team in the league. It's very well rounded, very well balanced, has a lot of nice synergy. So let's take a look at it. For his A tier picks, we have Mega Venusaur, Magyar, and Terrakion. Which, uh, Mega Venusaur, super bulky, super, super bulky. Um, very good defensive typing. Look <laughs> at those stats. Uh, decent speed for a tank. It's very, 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 very nice Pokemon. Also, thick fat. That's a, that's a big issue. Uh, next is Magyarna, which, uh, Soul Heart is basically special Moxie. And it gets very good stab and floor cannon and flash cannon, and it's just a very, very offensive threat. And next, there's a car passing by. And next, there is Terrakion. Uh, I honestly think that Terrakion is an underrated threat. It's got very good attacking and very nice speed and respectable bulk. It's very good. Uh, as well as a very nice offensive typing. I think honestly it's one of the best rock types in the meta game. I really do. Because once it gets going it's kind of hard to stop. Also justified to boost up that attack stat. Next there's Crobat. Uh, very fast and surprisingly decently bulky threat. Uh, though 85, 80, 80 doesn't sound like all that great bulk. Crobat is surprisingly bulky and he has this uh, typing to work with it. See, Infiltrator prevents anything that has substitute to set up as well, so you know. Uh, Crobat is a very, very big threat to my team. Uh, we'll get to him later. Next, there's Crookedile, which. Crooked Hillary. <laughs> which, um, I still love this name, by the way. Uh, it has very, a very nice bulk. Has decent speed and a very decent attack stat, but the main reason why he's really good is because he gets Intimidate and Moxie. Two very, very scary, scary abilities. One that prevents any physical attackers from setting up and Moxie, which makes it a very reliable scarf for a cleaner, revenge killer, or something. I don't know, this thing's scary. That's a big, 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 big problem. Next, we have Milotech. Uh, just nice bulk, very nice bulk. 90, 79, 125. Marvel scale. If basically, if it gets burned or something like that, it gets a status effect, its defense is doubled. So, yeah. This thing's gonna be quite the threat, too. Uh, next up, there's Yuxi in his C tier picks. Uh,. Yuxi has very good bulk, 75, 130, 130. You could you could call it a slightly inferior Deoxys defense, slightly. I say slightly because they both, they, although they both set up hazard and stuff, uh, they have Yuxi gets pivot in U-turn, which uh, Deoxys doesn't. Pivot is very important. Next is Fitty Tyson, Tice Flotion. Uh, Flash makes it okay. Tice Flotion. Is a very situational Pokemon if that makes any sense. Choice Specs or Choice Scarf is basically all it can run. Because it gets Eruption, which is a very scary stab, fire type move. A max health, it does a lot of damage, and Tice Flotion definitely has a special attack stat to work with it and decent speed. However, it's very easy to wear down with rocks and stuff like that, so you know, that's always important. Next up is this Exelgor, which is a Pokemon I personally love to use because it has a very, very nice speed stat and unburden to just make that even faster for some reason. Decent special attack stat and uh, pivoting U turn. This thing is a fast pivot mon and it's, it's just so much fun to use. I love Exelgor, it's a fun mon. Then there's Benectrek and his D tier picks. Uh. Manectric is decently fast and hits decently hard, but that's about it to Manectric. There's nothing else to Manectric except that it has Lightning Rod, so... Uh, Volt Switching, T-Waving, something. This thing can switch into Electric-types rather easily. 
Ms. Maggie's is also a big threat with 105, 105, 105 special attack, special defense, and speed. Gets access to Nasty Plot and Levitate, so it can switch in on ground types rather easily. Uh, it also can burn them, because it gets, uh, or paralyzing, because it gets nice utility in Toxic, Willow, and Thunder Wave. Next, there's... What was that? Next, there's Hitmonchan! That's my knuckle. Uh, I personally really like using Hitmonchan. I think it's a bit underrated. Because it gets access to Iron Fist, Ice Punch, Fire Punch, Drain Punch, Mock Punch, Bullet Punch. It has a very nice uh, punchy move pool. Uh, it's decently hard. has amazing, an amazing special defense stat. So yeah, Hitmonchan, don't sleep on it. Uh, Scarf, Bandit. Uh, speed is a bit mediocre, but again, Scarf or Bandit, this thing is scary. Next up, there's Reggie Ice, which is... It has good bulk. It really does. It's just ice is not that good of a typing, unfortunately, for it. Which really, really sucks for it, because, you know, Reggie Ice. I like Reggie Ice. It's a, it's a weird mod, but its typing makes it too exploitable to rocks. And... <sighs> Don't worry, Reggie Ice. I, I still like you. And then there's Kang Kangaskhan. I can't really say much, much about Kangaskhan, because I think Kangaskhan is kind of slept on. As decent bulk, decent attack, scrappy. Uh, but I, I don't really see Kangaskhan all that much when I played it, and you didn't really see it all that much. And see, yeah, I just didn't see it. It's it's a shame, but whatever. Uh, I don't know much about Kangaskhan, but I'm trying to say, don't know what to expect from it. Yeah, so there, that's a uh, solo's team. It's a very well balanced team, I'll say. I'll say it took me a bit to come up with a team. So, you know, let's go take a look at my team for a bit. Okay. So, first off, we have Dodrio. Uh <laughs> So, Expert Belt, Early Bird, Swords Dance, Drill Peck, Jump Kick, Baton Pass, 252 Attack, 252 Speed, Jolly Nature, who cares about that for EV investment on special defense, it's not going to matter all that much, but whatever, details. Okay, Dodrio, after webs, it outspeeds all of Solo's threats, except Crowback, because of course that thing is flying, but you know, whatever. Outspeed Scarf users such as Terrakian, Crocodile, uh, Tice Flotion. I don't know, Kangaskhan, would he run Kangaskhan as a Scarf set? Because it has the speed to work with it, I guess. I don't know. But yeah. You know, it speeds all of his Scarf setters except Crobat, because, you know, Crobat is fast. And it's flying. Uh, I have Sword Zens, because I just want this thing to be hitting super hard. Uh, same with Expert Bell, because now I'm going to be hitting Mega Venusaur, Terrakian. Non Intimidate Crocodile, Exogor, Hitmonchan, Red Ace, and Kangaskhan very, very hard. Um, if there's threats such as Magnurian, Untice Flotion, or Magnectric, I can easily pivot out of there with Baton Pass. Uh, and maybe, I don't know, something can switch in. Uh, so I could switch in something with Sword Stance activated, and then they will just sweep. Who knows? Next up. We have Volbeat. I love Volbeat. Uh, Volbeat's making its grand debut, which honestly I'm very, very happy about. Uh, lefties, Prankster, Thunder Wave, Bruce, Light Screen, U-Turn, 252 HP, 4 Attack, and 252 Special Defense. Careful, na careful nature. All right, Volbeat is surprisingly gonna put in work. I am surprised. Uh, it's a bug type, of course, so it's still weak to rocks, and so it's still really exploitable to physical attackers, but uh, Max Spadef allows it to tank hits nicely from all solo special attackers, and Light Screens with Prankster allows it to just tank even better, and with U-Turn it can slow pivot out of there and allow for safe switch-ins, which is nice. Thunder Wave, of course, cripples fast foes like Crobat, Tice Flotion, Excelgore, 
Uh, Roost is for, for some reliable recovery, and with the lefties for passive recovery, this thing's gonna be healing up quite quickly. Uh, but still destroy base physical attackers, don't forget that. As long as Solo brings a lot of physical attackers and Mulby, it's gonna be kinda useless, but... It's still put in work with Thunder Wave, which will cripple a lot of foes, and much needed foes that I need to cripple, such, which Crobat, I need to cripple that thing somehow if he brings it. Next up, it's uh, Smeargle. Uh, Focus Dash, Own Tempo, Sticky Webs, Destiny Bond, Spikes, and King Shield, 52 HP, 252 uh, Speed. Uh, this is pretty simple. Sticky Whip slows down foes, uh, allowing my team to outspeed his team. Destiny Bond allows Smeargo to be a very nice suicide lead. Spikes uh, guarantees some nice chip damage. And King Shield discourages physical attackers from attacking it. And just, you know, that's great. That's all there's... I mean, the Focus Dash just can't, allows me to guarantee... It guarantees the hazards, but that about, that's about it to Smeargo. No, he's pretty simple. Quite basic. Next up. Be woke. It's beware. Uh, leftovers, Fluffy, Sword Stance, Brick Break, Shadow Claw, Earthquake, 92 HP, 236 attack, and 180 speed. Jolly nature. Uh, what's with these weird EVs? Uh, I, of course, beware needs some bulk. Beware always needs some bulk. Uh, I need some. I need to hit somewhat hard, and I need to outspeed things after sticky webs, which is why I'm running a 180 Jolly Nature. Because after this, I outspeed Scarf Type Lotion, Timid Scarf Type Lotion. So basically, anything. Uh, not Timid Scarf. I don't want to be Scarf Type Lotion. Just regular Timid Type Lotion to be run specs. Anything that has base 100 or under that isn't Scarf will be outsped by Beware after Sticky Webs with Sword Dance. I want him hit even harder, so you know. Yeah, Sword Dance. Brick Break for Stab. I'm running Brick Break over Hammer on because I need that speed. I need. I have a need for speed. Uh, Shadow Claw hits Miss Magius and Earthquake hits Magurna. Tight Slotion. Basically anything weak to ground. Uh. And left, this is just there for some passive recovery, which is much needed for Beware, because he is easy to wear down, which is a problem. Next up, we have Flygon. With Lumberry, Levitate, Dragon Dance, Earthquake, Crunch, U turn, 52 attack, 252 speed, Jolly Nature. That's a lot of Jolly Mons, huh? Okay. I have the Lumberry for one reason, and that's to prevent myself from being burned or toxic or anything like that from any of solo threats, specifically Miss Magius and Mega Venusaur. Uh, Dragon Dance uh, would make me would just okay, flying on. Got Dragon Dance this gen, which is amazing. I, uh, it's a much needed move. It makes it more versatile now because Flygon was already decently versatile. Now it's even more versatile. Uh, with Dragon Dance, it allows it to be a very nice cleaner, a great cleaner. And due to the lack of Dragon types, I didn't decide to bring a Dragon type move. So that allowed me to bring more coverage with Crunch to hit his Levitate users, which are Yuxi and uh, what's his face, Miss Magius. Uh, Earthquake, of course, for stab and YouTube for YouTube. And you turn for more pivot. After one Dragon Dance, I will be out to beating all of Solo's team. That includes Crobat. Uh, that all, but that doesn't include uh, Scarf Terrakian, though. That does not include Scarf Terrakian. And now a Speed Tide Scarf Timid uh, Tide Explosion. But yeah. Uh, my main problem with Solo right now is that uh, he has a lot of potential Scarf users. A lot of potential Scarf users. Mm, that's always scary. And then finally, it's Nose Pass with Eviolite, Sturdy, Stealth Rock, Paint Split, Thunder Wave, Volt Switch, 116 uh, HP, 140 Defense, 252 Special Defense, Calm Nature. Now, okay, Sturdy allows for the free rocks. Uh, thanks to Nose Pass low HP, it's gonna be Paint Splitting for days, and Paint Split is. 
Pays putting nose pets are just best friends right here, man. I love nose pets. I'm getting a phone call. Oh boy. Uh, low HP. Yeah, blah blah blah. Thunder wave cripples foes. Volt switch for even more pit. And EV light allows it to tank nicely. Blah blah blah. So that was my team. I'm sorry I have to rush things now because I'm getting a phone call. But you know that was that's my team for so long. Uh,